Hey y'all, you join me in Long Little Massachusetts on our way to Auburn, Mass for uh, dinner out with friends. We're gonna take the Pole Star, see how she does. Another real life drive. So uh, let's get going. Hey y'all, so today we're gonna do another real life drive in the Pole Star 2. Going out to dinner in Auburn, Mass. We're going from Long Meadow, Massachusetts here. We're at uh, just about 4 o'clock. The sun's still out. By the time we get to Auburn, it'll probably be dark. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so we're just going to take a drive and uh, see how the Pole Star does. And she'll do great because she always does. And um, probably stop at a couple chargers because Auburn, where we're going to have dinner, is right down the street from an eight-stall EA station, and there's also two uh, EVGO, like the old um, 50 kilowatt chargers, the, I think they're EBBs, and um, there's a Tesla supercharger right there too, so I probably won't need to charge there, but I think we'll just take a swing by, see what's, see how it's looking, and see if uh, uh, EA stall number eight is still down, it's been down like forever, and uh, maybe stop at an EVGO on the way back in Sturbridge, Mass, because the last time I was out there, Two out of the four were down, and they were down for months. But according to the app, they've been back up for a little bit. So might go check those out, too. So, um, yeah. So here we go. And uh, it's another uh, driving video for your viewing pleasure. like Charger 8 is actually actually up and working again. Star. Of course, Charger 3 is down. There's got to be at least one down. That's not an EA station. So another exciting Saturday evening in the books. We did get to have dinner with some friends of ours uh, before they move off to North Carolina. Um, so it was good to see them. And uh, we did stop, since we were right there in Auburn, Mass, we did stop at the EA station in Auburn. Um, and number eight was fixed. And the that one was down for a long time. But of course now number three is down. So again, it's, it's not really an EA station if one of them isn't working but you know seven out of eight's not too bad considering for uh for ea and i don't know if i just haven't been paying attention lately but um 
the cost of DC fast charging seems to be getting like a little bit out of hand because um, I only plugged in for about five minutes. We didn't really need that much juice. Um, I really didn't need to charge at all, but since we were there, it's like, yeah, we're here. Um, you know, I just wanted to also just test and, you know, see how long it would take for it to initiate and charge. And it was typical, terribly slow, but whatever. Um, it did charge. And, but I noticed like when I got, when I looked at the receipt after, um, 56 cents per kilowatt hour, that seems like high to me, uh, especially for EA with their pitiful customer service. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's just maybe I haven't been paying much attention to the cost lately, but it seems like I've heard that a little bit around that it seems like DC fast charging, not just EA, but anywhere, is starting to get uh, more and more expensive these days, which is kind of weird. Um, but, you know, and that's and I have a, a plan with EA. I'm like a member. That's the member's price is 56 cents a kilowatt hour. Like I could see that if I wasn't a member. But I mean, when I charge in a Magic Dock Tesla charger, I don't have a membership. Uh, I just show up there, you know, do the charging on Tesla, and it's like 51 cents a kilowatt hour. So to charge at a Tesla supercharger with a Magic Dock without a membership plan is less expensive than charging at EA if you have a membership plan. Interesting. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have been seeing the same kind of thing. Like if maybe it's again, maybe it's just me, but it seems like the prices are kind of they're kind of going up. But um, anyway, that's it for this Saturday. And as always, EVs are awesome and it's okay to be awesome.